Hello and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn. So this is Hannah's latest release and she's got quite an extensive back catalogue of colouring books which you might know already but you can usually always tell it's a Hannah Lynn book because these beautiful covers have loads and loads of vibrant colour on and it always features female portraits. So this book to show you the back it's got 25 individual designs and there are two copies of each so 50 pages to colour in total everything's duplicated uh, twice so that you've got a practice page and then you've got a final page or you can do the same page in different colour palettes it's totally up to you so the book opens up as always with some colouring tips from Hannah Lynn We've then got thumbnails of every single design that features in the book with their name as well. So this particular book is obviously all about fairy tales. So it's going to be characters that we know from storybooks um, from our childhood. So for instance, we've got Cinderella going off to the ball. We've got Little Red Riding Hood uh, going to her grandmother's house. We've got the princess and the pea. We've got Pinocchio's wish, off to see the wizard and all sorts of different ones as well. So even though these are based on, um, you know, some some Disney, some grim fairy tales, things like that, they're all done in Hannah's style. So this is her interpretation of Cinderella. And as you can see, the very next page is the same design. And that's how the format goes throughout the book. So I'll just flick through and talk a little bit about each one. So we've got Ariel or some sort of mermaid here. We've got this beautiful princess in the pea with all these different mattresses um, and blankets with different patterns on. That one's going to look amazing when it's coloured. So this one here is Hansel and Gretel with the gingerbread house in the background. Really nice to see a little boy as well for once. It always seems to be girls in Hannah's books. So nice to see that. One thing I've noticed between the duplicates is on their eyes here, there's no shading at all. Whereas on the next page, there is some shading on the eyes. And that seems to be the only difference between the two pages. So here we've got little Miss Muffet with the spider. And we've got the magic carpet and the magic lamp. So this is obviously Jasmine from Aladdin. Here this looks like, um, looks like it could be Snow White because of all the creatures and the animals. Let's check with our thumbnail at the start. So yeah, Snow White and Friends. So as you can see as well, every single page is bordered. Nothing goes into the spine or off the edge. So you don't have to worry about getting your pencils and pens sort of into any fiddly bits of the book. We've got Alice in Wonderland falling down the rabbit hole. And as we're going through, you can see that it is one-sided. But as with all Hannah Lynn's books, they are Create Space published, which is the Amazon publish, uh, publish, publishing house. And um, the paper is notorious for being not great. So, for instance, sometimes pencils can feel really weird on this paper. Perfect for markers. Um, and I know that most people who colour Hannah Lynn's stuff uh, do it with alcohol markers and stuff like that so that probably won't be a problem especially with it being one-sided now this is the one that i've completed as you can see it's rapunzel in her tower and i did this with spectrum noir alcohol markers now i did put a thick sheet of paper behind so that it wouldn't catch on the next uh, in, uh design and as you can see it does bleed through quite heavily but that's the beauty of these one-sided coloring books So we've got the Wizard of Oz, with all those little creatures, little Toto and the Tin Man. So this one is the Frog Prince, I think, when you kiss the frog and it turns into a prince. To be honest, I didn't watch many Disney films growing up, it was a bit sacrilegious, isn't it really, but um, never really had any. Um, I have seen them since, a lot of them since, so uh, what's this one? So this is, looks like the Queen of Hearts playing croquet with a flamingo, so this must be uh, Alice in Wonderland. Now this has got to be Beauty and the Beast because we've got the castle in the background, we've got the little beastly um, symbol on the gates and she has a rose as well. 
So this will be Sleeping Beauty with the um, the wheel with the prick with the needle. <laughs> Not very good at describing all these films. Um, yeah, I think that's what that is. Or it even could be, is it, um, what's the Disney film where, is it Rumpelstiltskin? Where she has to spin loads of gold. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments. So this is obviously Peter Pan. We've got Wendy. And Cinderella scrubbing the floor, ready for the two ugly sisters. Now this is Tinkerbell with lots of little magic dust and fairy dust. Here we've got Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and I absolutely love Goldilocks's uh, rig ringlet hair there. That'll be really nice to colour. So this one I think is Sleeping Beauty, which I believe is Aurora. And I think that other one was Spinning Gold. That might have been the Rumpelstiltskin. So here looks like Thumbelina because she's in the middle of the flower. So that's a huge bird in the foreground there to colour. That'll be really interesting. Now then we have a bride. Now this could really be anything. Let's have a look at our thumbnails again. So the big day it's called. Now that means nothing to me. So what do you think this character is? What film or story do you think that this character comes from? Let me know in the comments as well, please. And that is the end of the book. Now, as always with the Amazon published books, there's a page in the back that you can use to test your colour palettes, um, see if things bleed through, stuff like that. But as for the book itself, it's another winner from Hannah Lynn. I don't think she can go wrong. Absolutely love all of her illustrations, all of her interpretations and her designs. I just love, love, love her books. So I really hope you agree. Uh, let me know in the comments. Now, if you're wanting to buy this, you can get it on Amazon, of course. And in the UK, you're looking at £7.00. 12 at the moment and then in the US $8.95 and it's also on the book depository and all three of those links are going to be in the description below for you to check out. If you enjoyed this review do let me know. Um, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.